Good morning. We continue with uh, Woodward and uh, Prevost hydroxylation. Last class we have studied Woodward hydroxylation or Woodward uh, reaction and in this class we are discussing Prevost hydroxylation. Prevost hydroxylation. As I told you, in Woodward hydroxylation, we get uh, cis diodes, an alkene can be converted to cis diodes, and in reverse hydroxylation, we get uh, trans uh, diode. Okay, and uh, in Woodward hydroxylation and reverse hydroxylation, the reaction mixture. What is the reaction mixture? Yesterday we have discussed in Woodward. Last uh, class we have discussed in Woodward hydroxylation. The reaction of uh, alkene with uh, iodine in presence of silver acetate and water. That is important. The solvent was water. That means a reaction of alkene with iodine and silver acetate in presence of water, in presence of moisture, uh, we get uh, cis diode. And in reverse hydroxylation, there is no water. That means uh, reaction of uh, an alkene with uh, iodine and uh, silver acetate or silver benzoate in a dry condition. That is very, very important. In reverse hydroxylation, if the condition is dry, that means there is no moisture, there is no water. Instead of water as solvent, here we are using CCL4 as solvent. So let us go through uh, Prevost hydroxylation. Alkene, alkene, alkene with uh, iodine in presence of uh, silver acetate or silver benzoate. A better reagent is uh, silver benzoate. So what is that? C six H five C double bond O O minus A G silver benzoate. In presence of CCl4, dry condition, that means uh, dry condition, there is no water, that is important, dry condition. So here we are using the solvent, is uh, CCl4, there is no water, what we will get, we get uh, trans diode, trans diode, okay, trans diode. Now, as in the case of a Woodward reaction, the first step is, uh, you know that uh, C6H5, C double bond O, O minus AG plus Silver benzoate react with iodine. That means I I. What will happen? This O minus will abstract I plus, and what will I minus will be eliminated. That means minus A G I silver iodide is eliminated, and we get C six C six H five C double bond of O minus I plus. Uh, in the next step. Uh, in the next step, you can see that uh, uh, this our uh, uh, C6H5, C double bond O, O minus and I plus, I plus will react with our uh, alkene. This is our alkene, react with our uh, alkene. What will happen? This 5 electron cloud will abstract I plus or you can say that the I plus is attacking the 5 electron cloud. Suppose it is attacking from the top of the uh, 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 plane from the top of the plane as we have discussed uh, alkene has a uh, planar uh, symmetry so it can attack from the top of the plane and we get a structure like this so I am writing okay here we get since uh, this is coming from the top of the plane we get uh, iodium ion like this uh, if it is attacking from the top of the plane we are showing a thick uh, like this thick bond and here it is uh, I plus I plus okay and uh, we get uh, iodonium ion, iodonium, iodonium ion, okay, iodonium ion. Now we can see that uh, this iodonium ion, now we have this uh, uh, benzoate uh, anion is here, benzoate anion is here, that means uh, C6H5, C double bond O, o minus or uh, benzoate anion. This benzoate anion is coming by a SN2 attack is coming and attacking this uh, 
carbon that means uh, the ci bonded c carbon from the back side from the back side why is this attacking from the back side because above the plane this uh, i plus is there therefore uh, this uh, benzoate anion benzoate anion is attacking from the back side and we get a structure like this look at it here here it is uh, okay okay and uh, here you can see that uh, when it is attacking from the this is like why why are sn2 attacking from the back side from the bottom side okay what will happen this bond will shift to the break and it will be shifted to i plus so we get since it is coming from the back side we are representing this bond with a dotted uh, uh, bond dotted line okay c double bond of c6 c6 h5 and here we get okay here it is uh, I clear here it is uh, I now again you can see that another attack of the C6 H5 C double bond or minus and uh, our AG plus AG plus AG plus okay that means uh, silver benzoate silver uh, benzoate okay this AG plus this AG plus here the lone pair is here uh, this uh, lone pair will abstract this uh, AG plus and it will make for uh, a platform for the neighboring group participation and we can see that the structure will be like this here it is like this and here it is uh, uh, O C double bond O C6 H5 and here we are getting here it is uh, uh, the bond is like this and here it is I its lone pair is joining with uh, AG therefore it will become I plus clear Okay, this is the, uh, okay, we are continuing and in the next step, okay, on the next step, you can see that uh, neighboring group participation, that means uh, here the lone pair electron is here and uh, that will attack on this bond, okay, and what will happen, AGI will be eliminated. So what will happen minus minus agi and we get a structure like this here it is like this here it is uh, o and here it is c double bond o c6 h5 and you can see that uh, this pair is uh, making a bond with uh, this carbon and of course uh, this oxygen is getting a positive charge what is this one this is uh, oxonium ion oxonium ion okay oxonium ion uh, up to here like our uh, uh, woodward uh, uh, hydroxylation the formation of oxonium ion up to here is just like our uh, woodward hydroxylation and uh, in the next step what was happening in the woodward hydroxylation due to the presence of uh, moisture due to the presence of water what will happen the water will act as a nucleophile and it will attack on the carbonyl carbon or uh, it will attack on the carbonyl carbon if water is present what will happen the water will attack on this carbonyl carbon and what will happen this bond will be shifted to here okay now in Prevost hydroxylation since there is no moisture what will happen what is our nucleophile there is no water therefore our nucleophile is uh, the nucleophile present in the reaction mixture is uh, C6H5 C double bond O O minus okay this is our nucleophile this nucleophile this nucleophile will come and attack what will happen this nucleophile will come and attack this carbon okay not on this carbon it is coming and attacking on this uh, this carbon that means uh, 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 above the plane is this uh, structure is there above the plane is this structure therefore this nucleophile will come and attack from the uh, from below the plane that means uh, this will attack this nucleophile will attack attack that here the difference between uh, woodward and provost hydroxylation see the uh, in provost hydroxylation this benzoate anion will attack uh, this carbon from the bottom side from the bottom side because uh, uh, this structure is uh, this is above the plane therefore uh, the, our anion is uh, attacking the nucleophile is attacking from the bottom side and what will happen this bond will be shifted to oxygen clear and what we get we get a structure like this it is here it is like this and here it is uh, here it is o what is that uh, c double bond o c6 
H5 and uh, here you can see that uh, here you can see that uh, uh, since it is attacking from the uh, bottom side I am showing with a thick board okay this is above the plane and this is below the plane this is the below the plane below the plane is O C double bond O C 6 H5 clear and uh, now it is simple this is our ester part this is also ester and this is ester now uh, in the second stage we do hydrolysis hydrolysis okay on hydrolysis hydrolysis okay h2o h plus h2o h plus what we get uh, we get uh, this part will change into oh so here it is uh, okay this is uh, above the plane and uh, you can see that uh, here is uh, uh, o h okay plus what will form two more to c6 h5 c double bond or oh now you can see that uh, this is uh, trans trans diode trans trans this is the mechanism of uh, this is the mechanism of uh, Prevost hydroxylation. So the difference between uh, Woodward and Prevost uh, in Woodward and Prevost the, the reaction is uh, reaction of alkene with the iodine in presence of uh, silver acetate or um, uh, um, uh, phenyl acetate. Okay, uh, uh, silver benzoate. Okay, silver acetate or uh, silver benzoate. But in Woodward reaction, the reaction is taking place in. Uh, water medium that means that the solvent is water in the presence of water what will happen we get uh, cis diode and uh, in there if there is no moisture there is no water and if we use uh, carbon tetrachloride as the solvent what will happen we get uh, trans diode that is known as a uh, prevost hydroxylation now look at another example Suppose you have a question like this. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Uh, CH three. CH three. Double bond O. Okay, uh, 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 this is the compound and it is treating with uh, iodine in, uh, okay, you have uh, uh, AG, OAC, AG, OAC, okay, then second one is uh, uh, water, okay, OG, AAC, H2O and uh, uh, okay, followed by hydrolysis, followed by hydrolysis. So, when you look at the reagent, you, you can understand that uh, this is uh, uh, Woodward hydroxylation, Woodward hydroxylation because iodine is there, silver acetate is there and water is there. Okay, so the reagent is, uh, what is that, iodine, silver acetate uh, and uh, water, definitely the reagent is, uh, what is that, uh, Woodward reagent, this reagent is Woodward reagent and of course you can see, uh, there is a, here is one double bond and here is one double bond and here is another double bond. So, you may think that uh, here it will come OH, here also OH, here also OH. Here is another chance and here is another chance but you can see that uh, you can see that uh, if there is a double bond is in conjugation okay double bond single bond double bond double bond is in conjugation the conjugation part will not undergo a Woodward hydroxylation or Prevost hydroxylation so what is the product you are getting this part uh, this is like this okay okay Your product will be okay. Here, what will happen? The uh, the bond will break, and you can see that here you are getting uh, this is uh, the bond here. There is no change and no change. Here it is uh, CH three, and here is also uh, CH three CH three, and here it is uh, double bond O. So keep it in mind if it is in conjugation, the double bond is in conjugation. Okay. Uh, there is no chance of uh, Woodward or Prevost hydroxylation. Only this part will undergo Woodward and Prevost hydroxylation. Okay, so that's all about uh, Prevost hydroxylation. Thank you.